Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Traps again and today we are looking at a new hatchery. Um, as you can see I got a new hatchery with the Traps Gankreform as Gonocorex species. Uh, I saved some of the eggs and I actually got a new colony right now and this colony is doing way better than the last one. Um, and I think that actually oxygenate, oxygenating uh, the hatchery can actually be a little bit uh, beneficial in the early days of the triops. So what I want to show you guys is I just fed them some spirulina algae powder. That Those are the green spots that you can see on the floor of the hatchery. We're going to zoom in a little bit and take a look at the little triops nopoli feeding on the spirulina algae now. So... Over there we have some smaller Triops Nopoli. This is a bigger one. Well, when I say bigger one, um, these guys are still, um, well, the size of a uh, algae pellet. So they are pretty small still, but this is one of the big ones. And uh, up there we have a smaller one. But there are plenty of them right now. Let me try to zoom in guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> there they are. Um, I think I counted about 12 of them. So I actually got a nice group this time. And uh, I hope I will get like 8 females and maybe 4 males would be great. Um, but let's hope there are more females than males this time, because last time, well, it didn't work out very well. The guys were bugging out the ladies too much, and, uh, well, they couldn't get the rest after molting, so we had some problems um, getting a good amount of eggs from uh, the last colony, so I decided to rehatch uh, the old eggs and add some of the eggs that I had left. Um, so I hope this batch will actually give me some good new eggs because otherwise I might lose this strain um, I still have like one piece of a baggie left so I could still try it another time but I'm really hoping that I can save this uh, save the lineage with this uh, batch um, would be great <laughs> oh here we have a little one let's zoom in on him or her I'm not completely sure what gender it is yet but I'm hoping to find it out soon. Beautiful. Um, well, it is a cancroformis species, but I decided to put them on 24 degrees. Usually that is... Um, well, not the maximum, but uh, the maximum of recommended um, temperatures for the cancroforma species. But this is a species that lives in a rather, um, a little bit more tropical climate. So it is possible to keep these at 27 degrees as well. But I kind of pinpointed it into the middle. Um, let's take 25, 24, 25 degrees Celsius. That will be enough. And... Um, uh, I actually think that it's going to be a little bit more beneficial with the growth. Um, I, what I've been told is when it when the temperatures are a little bit hotter, warmer, metabolism uh, will work a little bit faster. So they might be growing a little bit faster. Um, not completely sure though. Let's see if I can spot some of the Nopoli. I'm not completely sure where they are right now. Oh, there is another one at the surface. Yeah, the camera doesn't know where to zoom so many objects. <laughs> well, here's another one. Tiny little triopses. I really like them when they are this small. Really fun little transparent triops. Um, and soon they will be getting their color as well. So, um, like, let's say another in another week, and I think we are going to be able to show some to see some colors. Um, they should be a little bit uh, green, and uh, they should have a marbled shell again, like um, a camouflage pattern. 
So I'm really wondering what kind of colors they are, but it is the second gonococcus species and since the granarius and the cancriformis are pretty much nearby each other on the lineage um, scheme that I have, there is some kind of species scheme that is like telling when these species should have um, established themselves in on the world. And... Um, well, they are pretty relative to each other, so that's why I picked these two species to uh, try to breed the hybrid species that I'm planning to breed in the future. Um, well, basically, what I'm, what I'm, what's on the planning? It is going to be like uh, another batch of Cancroformis um, gonocoric, and uh, I'm not completely sure. Uh, when this part of the project will end so we will see in the future but the next step is actually hatching granarius and this species at the same time and then it's time to start uh, the breeding process with one uh, granarius male or female and one granar uh, one cancroform is gonocoric male or female i'm not completely sure which uh, gender i will pick from each species but it's going to be a mix and uh, I will try uh, another batch counterwise as well. So if I'm going for the Granarius female uh, for the first batch, uh, I will go for the male in the second batch and um, vice versa. So um, that's going to happen in the future. Um, and what I will try to find out if it's possible to combine two trial species into one trial species and basically create your own trial species, my own trial species. Um, I also have uh, several other gonocoric species. I received another one from a friend uh, that I met online several, like a year ago. He has been following me for uh, almost a year now and he was like, yo dude, I got a gonocoric species over here. I'm, I'm not completely sure if you already got it, but I want to send you some of them and uh, maybe you want to use it for your hybrid project. So I was interested and uh, well, I received the egg. So thanks bro for sending the eggs. Really, uh, really uh, enjoy it. Uh, really happy with it. I'm sorry. Um, so that's basically it guys, um, we are going to wait uh, until these triops, cancroformis, gonocoric have grown up a little bit more, um, then I will start to add the aquarium water to their little hatchery and try to uh, convert them to the tap water edition. <laughs> well, just to adjust them a little bit to the tap water environment because what I'm using inside this hatchery is just uh, fresh rainwater. Um, but the tank below, it's the nursing tank, as you can see. Um, this tank has tap water and uh, it's conditioned with um, uh, a chlorine remover and it removes heavy metals uh, such as copper, which is also toxic to invertebrates. And uh, I actually also equipped a pre-filter on the Denalay Nano Egg Filter. It's a corner filter from the brand Denalay. It is a German brand. And I actually bought this uh, extension, this thing what's over in front of it, that's like uh, attached to the filter. It is a pre it's a gravel pre-filter, so it's uh, filled with gravel and it actually will um, kind of pre-filter uh, the water before it enters the larger casing. And I actually added another one inside the main tank, the 60 liter as well. I'm pretty happy with the Denali products and uh, it also, it's also possible to add a uh, shrimp, baby shrimp screen in front of uh, this uh, gravel intake, gravel filter intake. And, but it's not useful, it's not necessary because I'm basically growing out the uh, traps inside this larger hatchery now. So once they are like, let's say, 2 centimeters or something, I will release them uh, after 14 days, maybe up to 16 days, to, just to make sure that I can see uh, the genders properly. And when there are too many males, I actually might decide to leave some of the males in the hatchery until they are a little bit bigger. And then these will instantly be transferred to the main tank just to make sure that the population of males and females is this time a little bit more controlled because I actually don't want to lose all my females again. Um, so what I wanted to do is like uh, save like eight. If I would get like a bunch of females, let's say eight, I will definitely uh, leave the eight uh, ladies inside the nursing tank for a bit. And uh, I will just add like maybe on eight females, I will just add only two males. Uh, just to make sure that uh, the female population is a little bit stronger than the male population. Because last time the males actually killed the females. So 
that's what I'm wanting to try this time. Um, that's basically what is happening right now, guys, because I never tried the Conochoric species before. I always had hermaphrodite species, and they were pretty peaceful together, just doing their business, always laying their eggs. But be now I'm actually depending on two sexes that have to work together to create fertile eggs so it's definitely a lot harder um, to continue your generations and your uh, strain uh, with new eggs because you need males and females and they need to cooperate well together to get yourself these fertile eggs if either the males or the females die out too soon you get no fertile eggs end of colony so that's really interesting and it is actually a little bit more challenging and i actually really like the challenge like uh right now i need to count the females and the males i need uh, to do a little bit of adjustments to the population to make sure it wo it's working out all right and that adds a lot more uh, challenge to the whole hobby because the hermaphrodite species are a little bit easier in my opinion um, so if you are a beginner I can definitely recommend to go for a hermaphrodite species most of the trout species are hermaphrodite and if they are not usually the seller will tell at least I will I always will uh, if you ask my price list you will have a part of a list that will contain the conochoric species just one for now and also a part of the list will contain the hermaphrodite species so i already made a uh, yeah, like i already gave them two categories gonochoric and hermaphrodite just to make sure that the new play that the new tribes keepers won't pick the gonochoric species as their first as i would recommend to take a easier hermaphrodite species first because you only need one batch of good eggs you need to be successful only once and you will get your own eggs so you can keep going on with the hobby and that's basically the fun of this hobby of course trials die after like let's say 90 to maybe up to 180 days that's so far the maximum i've ever heard about so let's say 180 days is the complete maximum for trials um, thing is um, how to get fun out of this hobby you need to keep the cycle going that's basically where I get my fun out of um, of course it's hard if you get like your animals your pets uh, to life and after three months they will die but it's all part of this game it's basically you need to uh, recreate what they are doing in nature like most creatures actually um, you know they get pregnant and they release their children or eggs or anything and they live alongside them for a while these animals don't so they come got a completely different cycle and basically by um, manually uh, going through all the cycle steps over and over again you're basically keeping them alive in a uh, controlled environment and that's for my for my well from in my opinion that's all part of the game and that's what makes keeping triops really fun you get a lot of triops you get to see a lot of triops you can get a lot of generations and maybe if you could not want to go on vacation you just plan to not have triops in your tank before you go on vacation you can go on vacation for like a month and come back and then you just decide to hatch another batch again so basically you can also pause this hobby a little bit like with fish you need to make get yourself some vacation um People that will take care of your fish during your vacation. And with tribes you can just basically plan to not have any tribes when you're going on vacation. So to me tribes are really a great animal to keep. And um, well I have been doing this for quite a while now. And I'm still in love with these creatures. Um, never had such a connection with a pet. So I had some people asking me like so what's the fun keeping these things if they keep dying like after three months but like I've been keeping them for a while now and I had so many tribes so many species I um, did research on all kinds of uh, species colors and etc it's really interesting so that's what kept me going for a while now so that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed the little short video uh, actually it's 50 minutes but no problem um, that's it. Uh, that was the update about the Cancriformis uh, gonochoric species. And you will definitely get more videos in the future about this new species. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel or to uh, add some videos to your favorites. And um, don't forget to like the video. Hope to see you next time. Bye.